Um, before I start the video, I just want to quickly mention something. A lot of you know what's going to happen. According to YouTube statistic, a lot of you don't subscribe to me. 75% watching my video to be precise. So you're saying that all this time my subscriber count could have quadrupled. Hmm. Subscribe to the channel. It's free. You can always change your mind. And especially if you're a Purdue student, Purdue alumni, or parents of Purdue students or alumni, there's no reasons for you not to subscribe to this channel. I do a lot of Purdue related videos, so just subscribe to the channel. You can always change your mind, but hopefully you don't. Uh, I just finished my finals today, uh, which is great. I know a lot of people still have finals. My RA still has one more final on Friday, so he has to wait quite a bit until then. Uh, yeah, let's dive right in. Um, recently, I talked to two professors at Purdue University, and they mentioned that a lot of students, engineering students, going into Purdue do not actually know about the first year engineering program, which all engineering majors have to go through first year. It doesn't matter if you're a um, freshman, doesn't matter if you're a transfer student, you do have to go through first year engineering. I do remember that in April 2020, which was when I was pretty certain that Purdue was going to be the place where I was going to end up at. That was when I knew about the first year engineering as I did a bit more research about Purdue. They do say in the acceptance letter that congratulations, you're accepted to first year engineering program. But um, when I read that, I kind of thought that it just means like you're a freshman in the school of engineering and you, you still accept it to your major. But that's not the case. So this is um, the purpose of this video to clear any confusion out there and maybe to make uh, prospective students or anyone who's curious know more about the first year, engineering, first year engineering program at Purdue. So what is it? Students going into Purdue don't go straight into their major. They have the first year to explore different schools of engineering, kind of like you Mitch, but we're better, obviously. People have different courses. You don't have to take the same classes, although you all have to take engineering 131 and 132 which is basically intro to engineering courses. And in those classes, they're going to introduce you to different majors to make sure that you know which major you want to go into. Engineering 131 first semester, um, engineering 132 is second semester. You're going to explore School of Engineering in the first semester. I don't know how they usually do it, but this year, because everything is online, um, so did like all the introduction to different schools of en engineering. We watch a bunch of uh, videos, like short videos for each school of engineering, like mechanical engineering, aerospace engineering, industrial engineering, multidisciplinary en engineering, which is the one I'm very interested in, which I'll go into more in detail later on. After those, then you do like a quiz. You can take as, as many times as you want, but they I think they do count toward your grade, but you can take as many times as you want, so there's no harm there. Also, besides that, they also have this info session on Zoom. Basically, they list a bunch of Zoom sessions throughout the semester. You're going to choose the one you want to go into. You have to attend at least four. Three of them have to be in different categories, so they're going to group different um, majors into like group A, group B, group C. The school just kind of grouped them together. There's no similarities between the majors. They just want to make sure that students get a taste of different majors before they decide which one they go into. That's pretty much the first year engineering program. Now I'm gonna offer you my perspective of how it has been being a first year engineering student and what it's like so far. So maybe it offers you some more perspective on it. I applied for early action. So I got my acceptance letter around January, I think January 15. I do remember when I opened up the email, I was in my art class, we were doing our art and then I opened the letter. I was excited because it was the first acceptance letter I got from college. I had not heard from any other colleges at that time. So Purdue was the first acceptance letter. Um, if you ask me a year before that, or maybe just at that time, I wouldn't think that I would end up at Purdue, but you know, so far Purdue seems like a perfect fit for me. Moving on, after I got the waitlisted letter from UCLA, I knew that I had to look at my options that was available to me. In the end, I was considering UC Davis, Purdue and Stevens Institute of Technology. After watching the virtual tour, um, I decided that UC Davis was not my option and so I moved on to comparing Stevens and Purdue. Stevens is a smaller school, it's in New York, so it's more urban and I'm more of a city boy. So I was more drawn to it, but then Purdue has amazing engineering programs, so I did not want to miss that opportunity. So one of the, the key points that drawn me to Purdue obviously was engineering, but also the fact that Purdue has 
has amazing industrial design. I want to do something. I want to incorporate art into STEM. Besides engineering and minor in art at the time, that was what I was thinking of. Um, I was also considering industrial design, which is, you know, like uh, CAD work and then you design stuff, make prototypes, which sounds really appealing to me. You can design everything. Everything around you was designed by someone you, from your smartphone, your um, your tablet, your computer, your your bed furnitures. Purdue has good industrial design. So I knew that if I go into Purdue, I would have a good backup plan just in case engineering is not my thing or I don't get into the major I want because Purdue engineering is very competitive. Over the summer, I was switching back and forth a lot. I consulted my mom, my uh, teachers, my uh, counselors, my friend. I switched back and forth between industrial design and engineering. One moment, I was so certain that I was going to switch my major to industrial design and the next moment, I was like, no, I'm going to stick with engineering. Now, over the summer, there's some stuff that happened that really affected my outlook on the major I want to go into. At first, I wanted to go into mechanical engineering and minor in art. But over the summer, I started working on some Purdue-related arts, like this one. Yeah, it's around here somewhere. And I posted it on Instagram. It caught Purdue official Instagram, engineering Instagram, all kind of Instagram pay accounts attention. They contacted me and they asked me if I wanted to do a QA. and a I did. And they asked the question like, why Purdue? Um, why? What's your passion? What's your hobby? What's your major? Those kind of stuff. And that's how I met Miss Walker. She works at Purdue. She's a staff. I think she works as communication in the School of Engineering education and she had, she was the one who actually introduced me to a different major of engineering which i've never heard before and it was visual design engineering a focus in 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 multidisciplinary engineering i did more research it seems like a really good fit but i was still like 50 50 i wasn't sure but over the first semester i did more research i'm getting more and more inclined toward visual design engineering and I attended the multidisciplinary engineering of zoom meeting my interest in engineering is not solely to mechanical and technical I want to combine art and engineering something that's not in the traditional school of engineering and that's exactly what multidisciplinary and multi yeah, sometimes that word kind of bucks me a little bit uh, multidisciplinary engineering and I feel like that's gonna be the place I want to go into the courses you're gonna take are basically very similar to mechanical engineering. Sophomore year is pretty much identical until junior and senior year where you have more electives where you will take classes in art and industrial design, those kind of nature, things of that nature. That's pretty much it for uh, my journey so far in first year engineering. A lot of students don't know about it, like I said, and a lot of students don't like it because going into first year engineering, there's no guarantee that you're going to end up at the major you want to go into. So some students do, do not like it. Next semester, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure toward the end, the, we're going to have a different counselor than the first year engineering counselor. And they're going to guide us toward the next step, which is the transitioning to our school of engineering. Visual design engineering, I think that's the place where I'm going to go into. Um, it's still ABET credited, accredited, which is the like official um, engineering test certificate, I would say. So you can do stuff in engineering field are you interested in purdue are you interested in purdue engineering are you currently a student at purdue and what's your major i would love to hear them so comment in the section down below and even if you don't go to purdue just tell if you're affili affiliated with purdue or if you go to a totally different college just let me know i think that's pretty much it for this video like i mentioned in the beginning if you like this video don't forget to thumbs up press the subscribe button share it to anyone who you think might be interested but most importantly just subscribe to my channel it will motivate me to do more videos in the future i'm gonna do them regardless but it would be nice to see some people interested in my content you know so um it's been fun um i hope you found it helpful like i said um and i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching bye